What's up everyone, Adam Saxon here with another roundup and I'm actually racing the clock right now because Windows 10 Creator Update is downloading as we speak. Hopefully I can get this roundup shot before I reboot. Also real quick, if you haven't seen it yet, I went to SQL Bits last week and I put together a little montage video of what happened there, what I saw, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Chris Webb had a blog post where he talks about the Unichar function inside of DAX. And I thought this was pretty awesome because basically what you're doing is doing ASCII art inside of your data, although it's maybe technically Unicode art. So this opens up a lot of possibilities in terms of using characters or symbols for your data instead of actual text or numbers. And so he's got a few examples where he shows using like stars or boxes or lines, things of that nature. I didn't see the Picard face palm though. So anyway, check that out. If this is something you're interested in, it may spice up some of your visuals in a way that you haven't been doing before. Very good find, Chris. Reserad did a tour of the ArcGIS map, and this is a very cool map. If you haven't played around with it, do check it out. And he goes through some of the features of what this map actually lets you do. I personally love the ability to add reference layers on top of this. You can do theming all sorts of cool things. So check out this blog post if you're interested in it. If you haven't checked out ArcGIS Maps, this is a great place to start. Ken Pulse has a blog post where he talks about the new create column from example feature inside of Power Query. This had been released for Power BI Desktop and he talks about the fact that it's in Excel 2016 now as well. And what this feature does is try to help you come up with the transformation needed to get the desired result. If you're not familiar with M or how to write those things or not really sure how to get that right transformation, this is a great starting step for you to try and create that with not necessarily any knowledge of how to do so. So if you're new to M or not sure maybe how to write a certain transformation or what to do to get the desired data result, this is a great place to start to try and help you get that transformation right. Check out Ken's blog post. He also gives his opinions on how this feature could be improved. So maybe you could weigh in on your thoughts as well. There's a new Quick Measures preview feature inside of Power BI Desktop and Paul Turley weighs in on his thoughts. And let's be honest, DAX is scary, right? There's a lot of people that aren't familiar with how to write DAX. It's intimidating. It's not maybe something easy to get into. There's a lot of great resources and there's some great people that know a lot about it. But in general, I think most people aren't really familiar with it or they're just getting started. And this feature is a great way to dive into creating measures inside of DAX. This is a great way to create some common things that you probably have in your model. Check out Paul Turley's blog post and I'll also in the description down below, I'll have a link out to a blog post from the Power BI blog as well for additional reference. And be sure to enable the preview feature to check out quick measures inside of Power BI Desktop. There is a new navigation experience coming for Power BI. And if you're not familiar with it, you may want to enable the preview feature just to get a heads up on what's coming and what the feel is gonna be like. This has been in preview for quite a while now and the blog post states that it is coming out in early May. So that's not very far away. I know when I enabled it, it took a little getting used to because it is a change in how you navigate through Power BI. So you can turn on this through the preview features inside of settings under the gear and you can get a feel for it today and check it out. Okay, what was your favorite item? Go and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. For me, it's a toss up between Unichar and the quick measures features inside of Power BI Desktop. And also, I'm still downloading the creator update behind me, so I did it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, go and hit that subscribe button for more great content from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome. We'll see you in the next video.